Indonesia, a colorful country where different religions traditionally live in harmony. That's the message the film Question Mark wants to convey to an increasingly intolerant audience. It shows a Buddhist family, a Muslim family and a woman who converts to Christianity, all living together. But to the Islamic Defenders Front, a group with a history of violence, the message of pluralism is dangerous. It says it's insulting to show a Muslim playing the role of Jesus in a church play. The group has forced one of Indonesia's main television channels not to air the film. We are worried that if Muslims feel insulted, they will be burning and rioting. That's what we have to prevent. That's why the SCTV channel has cancelled the showing, because they were afraid. It's this type of religious-driven violence that the film director tackles in his movie. This gives Islam a very bad image. It shows that Islam is not tolerant and that it doesn't want us all to live in peace. I'm a Muslim. I'm a representative of Islam. To me, Islam is not like this. The Indonesian Press Council says question mark is educational because it can teach people about Indonesian values that tend to be forgotten. The council wants the film, which was shown in theaters, to be broadcast on television. The government should make a big stand on this, uh, making sure that the, our freedom to uh, be free, uh, to express whatever we want to express, is safe because this is a part of an important ingredient in how a healthy democracy uh, should uh, have their life. Yeah? These latest threats by the Islamic Defenders Front come at the same time in which newly released US cables by WikiLeaks paint a very grim picture of the organization. According to the secret US cables, the Defenders Front has been funded by high-level police and intelligence officers. The police have denied this, but according to analysts, this proves why a small, violent organization like the Defenders Front has so far remained untouched. At the dramatic climax of the film, a Muslim man becomes a hero after he saves the lives of Christians when he finds a bomb in a church. A reality too in Indonesia, where bomb attacks have killed and wounded hundreds of people from all religions. Step Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.